Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I'm going to show you a quick technique by which you can find what are the unique values or what are the duplicate values in your Power BI table. So if you are looking for creating a new column which can tell you that this value is appearing only just one time or if it is appearing more than one time like two times, three times, four times then this will give you an output like this. So if this is what you need, then you can continue watching this video. So with that, uh, before I show you actually how to do this, just a quick information that this link, which is uh, the live Google Sheet link is something which is present in the description where you can, which you can access, come here and search any of my videos like these two users are doing right now. So these two people are actually coming here and looking for uh, or searching the videos, you know, that is relevant to them or something, you know, for which they are looking for solution. So similarly, using this link, which is in the description, you can come in here and, uh, and search any of the video. And since it is a live link, you will find all of my future videos also posted here. So right now I am on number 170. So over here, the link is present in column B. So search any of the video simply by pressing Ctrl F. Search anything what you need, find it, jump it on the link and boom, you get the video. All right, with that, let me go here in Power BI. So what I have is the orders table. It is nothing but a very simple sales order table, which has row ID, order ID, order date, ship date. You have customer name. You have sim single customer name, you have multiple customer names, so on and so forth. All right. Now, let's say uh, for this use case, we want to look at what are those orders where only a one order is placed or multiple products being placed. I mean, orders where single order placed or multiple order placed. Now, in case of a single order, you will have the order ID one time. But in case of more than one product that is being sold, you have two product right here in this case you have three product here in this case you have five or six product no over here you have one but here one two three four five product that is being sold but the whole idea behind this is to just to generalize this is how you can find the unique one that means that is appearing just one or something which is appearing more than once but in case you want to count like which is appearing two time which is appearing three time then we will going to do that so with this one use case, you can solve multiple use cases. Okay, so first thing first is we need to sort it, right? So sort ascending, right click and create new column. Once you create a new column, click on the column, the column will be, it should come here. And the column name is, uh, unique or multiple orders let's say we can say multiple we can say duplicate if it is relevant to say duplicate say duplicate if it is relevant to say multiple orders say multiple here in this case the relevance is multiple orders so what we need is basically count right and in that we will going to specify oh sorry count rows and in this we will going to specify the filter filter will be on the orders table and here is the filter expression that is very important we will going to use the one function which is earlier and here we will going to use the earlier order id is equals to the current order id which is this so it is basically going to one step back giving you the order id and and giving you this information okay so if we click here all right so you can see for this row you have only one order id for these two you have two order id here you have one order id one order id but in these two rows you have two order id one order id and you have four order ids over here so on and so forth now with the help of this you can basically identify uh, where which customer or let's say where you have two or more than two orders uh, from a single customer or five or more than five orders or just five orders 
five products that has been ordered or just a one simple line single line so it this this approach can solve multiple use cases for you not just identifying duplicates or unique values but any analytics that you want to do where counting is relevance then this can be your friend to get the quick output so with that um, mainly that's the thing i wanted to show you and i'll meet you in the next video with some new topic